what's up? It's me. It is about 5.30 in the morning. I'm just getting out of breakfast. And getting ready to go on an epic 12-hour trip to Greensboro, North Carolina for WPEA conference. And there's my sleeping boyfriend there. He's really sound asleep right now. And he got a job. Yes. I'm happy to report that he did get a job. Um, and it's pretty awesome. He works at Steak and Cheek right now. So, hopefully I can do some video reportage on that. Things have really taken a change for the awesome here. Um, I'm definitely going to be updating you on my boyfriend's stuff because now there's just been a lot more things happening. Anyway, you guys are going to come for the long with the ride with some experienced travelers. Um, she's a medium pace, fast paced president of BPW and her husband. And, you know, when I make it to certain places or certain points of interest, I'll either do a video or take a picture. And I'm also planning on showing you some highlights from WPEA. So stick around. Yeah, but as I was telling you, when I used to travel with my aunt, um, when she, when she was alive, she was a traveler. Um, she she was a world traveler too. Mm -hmm. So, she actually tra has done all. She did all seven continents. Wow. That was one of her goals, and she did that. Um, and I've traveled with her to a couple places. I've traveled with her and her friend Terry to um, um, to Philadelphia. That was a, that was an adventure. Um, I've traveled with her down to Myrtle, the first time I went down to Myrtle Beach with my mom, when she was, she went to one of the national conventions. Um, I've traveled to a couple other places with her, so, um, my parents have traveled with her, so it's like, it's in my, it's in the, my blood, basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, here I am. Have, we're stopping in Ohio now. Wanted to give a shout out to Leah Mouse, I know you're from here and you've been, making your videos from stuff here, so as I'm going through, I'm thinking of you. <laughs> hey, you did a shout-out to me. It's my turn to repay the favor. Um, anyway, we are here just kind of taking a breather, but we've made it through Michigan. Um, I'm having a good time right now with this duo. I'll probably be doing some videos here. Um, I'm going to be stopping at breakfast soon. Um, but yeah, this is great. They actually have some nice restrooms here, believe it or not. I know it's kind of crazy to say, but these loves places definitely are worth stopping. I can tell you that right now. So, anyway, um, it's going to be a fun trip. I will get back to you soon. Oh, and by the way, we saw a couple deer frog things. So, I know my Aunt Claire and my Uncle John are watching over and saying hello. Guys, this is pretty interesting. I ended up seeing a couple Amish people here at the Walmart in New Philadelphia. Well, it is Amish country. And I'll have to say, I found my own and saw my own version of the people of Walmart are here. So we're kind of like a quarter ways through the trip. It's like about 7, I want to say about 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. And we're doing pretty good. Mm, hi. Okay, here we are, guys. We are in another Walmart. <laughs> Instead of stopping at the usual places like a restaurant or a McDonald's. We do the Walmart thing and let's just say it's kind of interesting. Just, you know, look at the way of the land, see how different Walmart are different. This one has a McDonald's, it's bigger, but the bathrooms are not as good, I can tell you that right now. In any case, yeah. This has been an interesting adventure to say the least. Talk about one for the history books anyway. Hello there, we are now in Virginia, here at the Virginia Welcome Center. But I gotta ask a question, why is Virginia only for lovers and not single people? Is that where you're supposed to go on your honeymoon or something? Or is it lovers of Virginia? I don't know. It's like, come on, don't be so discriminatory. There's single people that love Virginia too, you know? Anyway, we're gonna probably be arriving at our destination at about 6 o'clock, so... But it's been a fun, interesting trip, and it looks like it's gonna rain, so... Yep, thought I'd check in. Carolina. Well, unfortunately, they closed up shop for the day, which is kind of a big bummer, but it's okay. This is where I like to call the wannabe race car driver place. Cousins are here, too. 
It's really humid. It's very cloudy. I have a feeling we're gonna get some rain. It's also pretty. So here I am in the uh, Civil Rights Museum here in Greensboro, North Carolina. Maybe some pretty shopping, probably get some videos and pictures. I'm really looking forward to this one. I'm going to tell you that right now. So, this will be some unique stuff to look at. And I'll definitely give you my thoughts for sure. It was the second day. And got some, got a lot of great sleep in. And, yeah, let's just say it's awesome. So I just went through the Civil Rights Museum and unfortunately they did not let us do any videos or anything, but I gotta tell you it's all worth it. With the stuff that I've studied and being in the women's movement that I am and what I do, it really brings it close to home. Um, it almost feels like you're on a united front, especially with everything that's going on now these days. Um, yeah, it's... I really, this is one of those you have to kind of like take a breath and go, wow, just wow. So I'm just going to wait, take a little rest, and then I'm going to head on to the next place. Unlike birds and insects, we still allow some airflow to come into the house. And they would have had a locking mechanism. And then we still have here painted over. Painted over, but they didn't have a locking mechanism. Another thing that was great about this, I didn't mention the other gentleman that was here, although he probably would have liked it, was that these windows, unlike the double hung windows, these windows. gorgeous just the sound of it it sounds better when you're downstairs oh you can hear you can hear it oh, all yeah. the way yeah wow it echoes beautifully throughout the house it sounds even better when you're away from it because it's such there's great acoustics in the house it's almost four o'clock p.m we're ready to take a bus back to our hotel to look at bus mats buses etc it's in one heck of a day we've seen civil rights museum and the kind of tie in we once saw this really historic this neat little historical mansion um, that you've seen some info on and some pictures on, and we still have tonight, folks. So we've got a lot of stuff going on tonight. I'm going to be doing some, uh, speaking or whatever, and, uh, yeah, this ends the touring portion, and there's still a lot more to go at WPEA 2015. But I will tell you, it's been an awesome, awesome day today. Nice little adventure. Got an adventure buddy now. That's pretty sweet. And... Got into some history, which I like too. Okay, well, you know, um, I think that if you could secure a location, that would be great. Okay, thank you very much. There's only five of us, so how about we have some folks work on logistics, you and Gloria, as we agreed in the last meeting, and then Beth and I and Mary should be working on the speakers, which is what we discussed at the last meeting. And so I'd appreciate it we would follow up if they don't empower us. And so we need to kind of find those good old boy mothers and sisters and encourage them and let them hear our voice so that they can talk at the dinner table with the good old boys to say, you need to change your thought pattern when you go to work. You have rights over your body, sobre tus decisiones, inclusive sobre tus sueños, over your decision and even your dreams. Una vez que nos sentimos cómodas con esta parte, viene la culpa de hacerlos ejercer. Once we start beginning to feel comfortable about this, that's when we can start to advocate for our rights. Decirle a tu pareja, no quiero. 
You can tell your partner, I don't want to. No puedo. I can't. No tengo ganas. I don't feel like it. O inclusive <laughs> decirle, tengo ganas. Or even say, I want to. Yeah. <laughs> Sin que sientas miedo de ser juzgada como una mujer fácil. Without fear of being judged as an easy woman. ¿Y qué pasa mm. cuando lo ejerces? And what happens when you start doing that? Ya sin culpa y con plena conciencia, ahí viene el contraataque de la pareja y decimos a trabajar y luchar por nuestras familias. Even though we know that we come here to work and fight for our families, es difícil, it's hard, y cuesta hacerlo. And it takes a lot of work to do it. En estos momentos tenemos obstáculos, uno de los principales en, el, en todo el país, pero nos vamos a enfocar en Carolina del Norte. At this time we have uh, various obstacles, uh, very, very huge obstacles. At this point, I'm only going to focus on the ones in North Carolina. It's not just, it's not just an individual issue. These are systemic issues. And we're seeing those be right. In the last two years, we've seen women of Congress, the Democratic women of Congress, launch an initiative called When Women Succeed, America Succeeds, talking exactly about these issues all across the country. We've seen President Obama beginning to put the force of the White House behind the issue during universal. Uh, other organization. And when you're finished, I'm going to ask you to do just one simple thing, and the day will be concluded. So if you would take the next 10 minutes, and talk about what might happen when you go home. Map your future. Just one thing that might happen when you go home. Besides taking a nap. I am black. I am educated. I am bossy. I am an activist. I am informed. I will ask questions. I have a new job. I move to a new city. And all I did was change lanes without signal. They say I killed myself. And even if I did, it should have not been in a Texas jail cell because I had no business being there in the first place. Women matter. Say her name. because he was kind of just sitting in the box. Oh, <laughs> fat little thing, isn't he? He's so cute! He's pretty. He's like in this. Won't they find the box? Oh, yep. yeah. Cats and boxes. Okay, this is something my mom absolutely loves. She really loves Virginia. This fiesta wear. We have a few pieces, but oh my, look at all this stuff. She would go nuts if she saw this. I would probably get one of every color I can imagine. That is pretty sweet. And to think, this is all here in West Virginia, stopping at a Princeton, West Virginia Market Center.
So here I am, folks. I'm back. End of a long journey. Got home around 2 o'clock this morning. Oh, that was a trek. Now, would I do something like this again? I'm not sure. All I gotta say, man, is... Whew, wow. Just saying. So, I'm gonna do a few odds and ends here. Wind down, and I'm going to bed. I'm sleeping.